so you just right click on a page once it's downloaded and download them all it'll download all the links or whatever and the last one is stylish stylish is the thing I use to make my Google desktop uh, sorry Google web page and YouTube black so what you do is you install it you see it says restart to complete installation this only works for uh, Firefox you have to have Firefox to be able to use this it puts an icon in your bottom right saying stylish basically if you go onto things like youtube.com now it's this white, it's bright, it's hurting my eyes or whatever you can say find stars for this page they'll then open their thing and they'll say there's loads of stars for YouTube I think the one I use is YouTube dark grey redesign so you click that it comes up, it's got a 5 star rating you can have a preview of it and then you say load into stylish you're about to st install YouTube gr dark grey redesign this will make changes to YouTube so you say save and then if I click on the YouTube thing again you can see it's now all black nice and black so easy on the eyes uh, very good to use uh, you can do the same thing for loads of different websites dig and things like that and people will get it so that you can block the ads out um, yeah th I, I don't have this because I've just uninstalled Firefox but basically you can get a dark uh, grey redesign for uh, for Google but I'm not sure they have it for Google UK Google Classic Grey that's kind of what I had but basically I modded a dot com version into uh, my stylish thing and oh uh, yeah it's not, it's not Google is it? there we go Google um, what I'll do is I'll uh, somehow I'll upload it somewhere, and you can download it if you want. To, if you want to look exactly like I had on mine, but other than that, you can just have it like this. This looks okay, doesn't it? I don't know if it works if you search. Yeah, it works if you search as well. So this is just a dark grey version. Uh, as I said, it can work with many different websites. So uh, all you do is go down to this thing here and say find stars for this page, and then it's done. Okay, onto themes. Uh, I've only selected three themes because these are, you, you'll probably find one that you like anyway, but I'm just showing it just for reference purposes. Uh, one's called Mostly Crystal. Uh, I like this just for the, for the icons, really. If I can get it from Firefox add ons again, install it. Install now. You have to enable it. It's, it will ask you to restart Firefox, but it, it it will look like you haven't done it. But you actually have to go into here and press Use Theme first, and then restart it. And then it will restart, and you'll notice the icons are now different, and that's easier to click. Hasn't got an extended button. Um, Cyclint's Theme Black Edition. If I'll just copy this, uh, this is what I've been using because I have my black desktop. Uh, I haven't. Done it. There you go. Um, I've been using a black desktop, so I figured might as well try and get a black uh, uh, Firefox theme. So just install that in the same way. It will eventually download it. Click themes. Click use theme. Restart Firefox to use. Go back to installation. Restart Firefox. Close the tabs, and you can see it's really black. <laughs> but it, as it just it just goes well with my theme, which is why I use it. Uh, another functional one I've found is uh, it's called Minifox. Basically, I've said how to make this whole Firefox toolbar a lot smaller, but this this just makes it stupidly small. So, if you really want to save space, if your desktop's quite big, then go for Minifox. And we'll activate it again. Use theme clicking on themes, installation, restart Firefox, close the tabs and you'll notice that it's very very small up here so that saves space on different desktops I suppose uh, one more thing to talk about is Moz Backup if I google it and show you it's basically a backup tool for Firefox if you have started using Firefox and you've used it for a while and you've saved your passwords into certain sites or you've 
done loads of different extensions and bookmarks you've got a bookmark collection just how you like it just download this um, mine's backup I'll provide a link in the description and you just say next backup a profile you say Mozilla next uh, ask you to close Firefox retry select the profile you want to back up default is usually the one you have browse you want to go to the desktop save next you can password protect it because as this will save things like your passwords and stuff to your sites then you want to do that uh, I'll just say A is the password because oh, A, A, A is the password and yeah the thing with the extensions it says some extensions have got problematic restoration so but I've found all the ones I've just shown you haven't had that problem so uh, it's up to you which, which ones you do it just backs it up click finish and it's done and you can save that onto an external drive uh, that's pretty much it really uh, thanks for watching my video uh, if there's any recommendations you have to Firefox then uh, please leave a comment and if you like my videos please rate and subscribe and I'll continue